Hey guys, Swordsman here with another gameplay of Battlefield Bad Company 2, Nelson's Bay Conquest. I know, two days in a row, Battlefield. I was going to shift it up a little bit. I was going to post part 2 of the Left 4 Dead adventure with Athena, but then I was like, I logged on a little bit, had about two hours to play, and I figured, uh, hey, I don't want to be the only D-Crew guy that doesn't know how to snipe well. And, uh, I mean, you got Jay, you got Stone legends in their own right with sniping and then you got Colin lately that's been tearing it up with sniping I'm like I don't want to be left out I want to try to snipe maybe I can uh, see if I can practice this a little bit and get any better because it can't get any worse right so I had about two hours to play and I figured no matter what I'm going to snipe with the SV-98 and uh, see how I do just put two hours into it see what happens I had a few good games of Conquest here, and I, I never did poorly. I, I'll toss that out there. I'm, like, I'm no stone, but I never got what I would consider a poor score. Now, I knew that uh, me picking up the sniper rifle wasn't going to be my optimal playing ability to uh, try to help the team win, but I was okay with that, you know? I mean, it's not like I was going to not try to win. I just uh, wasn't going to be, uh, hey, Turtle, doing my absolute best in order to uh, try to get the win or whatnot. I mean, I played two in, but I knew I, I could do more if I wanted to. Does that make sense, right? I mean, like, do you guys ever have games like that where you know if you use X weapon and Y setup that you'll do really, really well, but you just want to mess around with something else? I mean, it's good to do that, right? I mean, screw it. This was fun. I uh, wanted to have some fun. I mean, I could have ran Assault and uh, m 16 it up for the whole game, uh, time, but I was like, screw it. And, uh... This is one of the better games that I had had with the uh, sniper rifle in my hands trying to uh, get my stone face on, you know. But uh figured I'd post this up for you guys. I, I got another game also on Nelson's Bay from the uh, other side's perspective that I'll probably post up at some point as well. In a smattering of other little shots that I found uh, entertaining that I might maybe uh, put together for something. Sorry, I got the hiccups almost. Oh well. We shall carry on anyway. I mean, I did all right. I mean, as you can see, my shots won't be too spectacular, but uh, I did better than I thought I would. I mean, based on how much you hear me uh, talk about how bad I snipe, do you think I would have done this well? I mean, I had, I had some decent shots here, some bad misses like that one. But, uh, hey, i got to work on my decision-making whenever I'm uh, playing like this because I, I knew I shouldn't have started to sprint here, and it, I think I really could have got that guy, and it would have been a nicer clip. But this game was like 23 minutes long. As you may have noticed, uh, I had Pink Eye Panda in here with me. I don't know the other two gentlemen that uh, we ended up got randomly squatted with, but uh, they seem to do all right as well. And just to let you guys know, I know uh, I, I've sent you guys to Pink Eye's channel before, and you guys have probably mainly known him as a, uh, a Call of Duty player. But he does have a uh, bad company now. I believe he has both uh, the vanilla and Vietnam, I think. I think he has Vietnam. I'm not sure about that part yet. But uh, he, I would expect some bad company 240s to be coming his way for gameplays. And so if you've uh, liked him before in other videos, you should definitely go over to his channel and check him out. Tell him Swordsman sent you that uh, he's supposed to uh, post some bad company 2 stuff as soon as possible. We need more... Uh, High, uh, really good people posting Bad Company 2 stuff because it, it deserves to be posted, you know. So he and I had some fun. I think this was like our third game, second game together. It was just a good time overall. I mean, nothing too spectacular here. But it was fun. Like I, I completely get why people like this style. It is definitely entertaining. I thought for sure that should have been a kill. I thought I had to cross here right on his ass, but apparently not. Hmm, what's that actually called? Is it still called a crosshair if it's an ACOG? Like, what? Sight? Radical? Whatever. Like, like here was a nice clip. I, I got those two. If I would have pulled off this medic too, I thought I would have been pretty cool. But, uh, no, I couldn't do it. I think there was another example either later on or earlier where I, I got, I shoot two Wookiees, but then the damn medic gets me. Like, if I get these, like, two out of three type scenarios where if I would have got all three, I would have been walking away going, yeah, I got all three. Instead, I'm just going... Well, I got two of the three, which, hey, for me, I mean, I'll take it. It was crazy, though. I had to bump up my sensitivity all the way in uh, Bad Company 2 to try to do my best to pull this off. I think one of my biggest weaknesses that I need to work on is the speed at which I uh, pull off the shots. Like, I see the guys, 
I know the shoot like this is, I think I even left in a couple of clips where uh somebody drills my target right before I kill them. And uh, I just need to work on faster target acquisition. Like here's one, two, three uh oh, if I would have got the third one, it would have been so much cooler. Two no scopes, and I was going to hope for a, a quick scope on the third, but I just couldn't pull it off. Probably switched to my should have switched to my pistol, huh? But again, this is not my typical play style. This is first time I've ever done it. I think I think uh, I got my bronze star today with this gun, and uh, I don't I don't even know if I've ever equipped this gun before today. But uh, hey, it, it was fun. I think all told, with all of the bolt action rifles combined, I probably have less than 300 kills, and I've played Battlefield a long time. And that's it's just not what I do. I have hoard out the automatic uh, silence one in the uh, semi-auto a couple times, but uh, that's about it. I mostly leveled up my recon kit using an M14 to max it out. Back in the day, as they say. But yeah, I think I might I might do more of this. It's I know I'm not that great at it, but I had so much fun doing it. So uh, that could be just what I need to get me into battlefield more often, even when I don't have a full squad of D crew and friends around. Just uh, go in and practice my sniping. It was uh, fun, entertaining, challenging, and uh, that that's a uh, fun little key is challenging. Because a lot of times I come in here and like like you guys like. Oh god, it's gonna sound so egotistical, but Battlefield can be very, very easy if you play with friends, and it gets boring after a while. Just, uh, I mean, how many squad deathmatch can you win without a challenge, or how many games of rush and stuff can you just knock out without being challenged? And I, like, I am not the best player, but it's, it's all about the people I play with. Though it can get boring winning so easily. But I mean, this it's uh, something I'm not good at. I have not perfected, but I want to. And so, uh, yeah, it's it, it was a nice change of pace. Definitely think I'm going to try it out. Uh, trying to work on other more interesting... Uh, oh, watch that guy. I'll be back for him. Don't you worry. Little bastard. I don't think I've ever seen anyone camping in there before. And by camping, I do mean camping. That's a dude at a window looking that way nonstop the entire time. But uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to him shortly. Uh, what was I talking about? No, oh, I'm trying to work on new ideas for Battlefield. Because Stone's video the other day really uh, got me thinking, you know, and it's just like, like everybody knows how to play Rush nowadays. Everyone knows how to play Conquest. I think for the most part, the weapon reviews on Battlefield are pretty well unneeded anymore. I mean, at the start, people were definitely all over them. Ah, I remembered about that guy. I'm coming, pal. Now, if you were right here, would you stab him or would you shoot him? I went for the knife. I just figured it a little extra F you, pal. You know what I mean? It just feels good to knife a guy sometimes. Although I don't knife nearly as much as I probably should, but uh, I think I have less than 100 dog tags that I've ever collected. See right there, I should have took that shot way sooner. Should have took that shot way sooner. I just need to get faster at aiming and uh, feeling more confident to aim sooner than uh, what I have been. But I figure that's what, an acquired skill that takes time and whatnot to set up and to get into. And I think I can pull it off, you know. We'll see what happens. Uh, what does this really talk about? We got the Crisis 2 multiplayer demo releasing on Xbox on Tuesday. I gotta tell you, I've mostly ignored it, figuring it might just be another pretty game with pretty lackluster gameplay. But uh, we'll see. Um, it looked fun. It looked entertaining. I don't think it's going to be some sort of Call of Duty killer, but uh, I am looking for something to get me away from the Call of Duty franchise. I am sick of it, and uh, I want something new. So I'll be checking that out. Probably have videos coming on Tuesday and throughout next week for that. I'm going to try to get some more Team Fortress 2 stuff. I know I owe Hobo a bunch of that stuff. I told him I'll work on it, and uh, I'm trying to figure out and master how to use the uh, no scope, uh, the built-in theater mode of Team Fortress 2. Otherwise, I just, I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the ass to have fraps running on that game all the time, and it's just, yeah, we'll see. Hmm, what else are we really talking about? Uh, I don't really have too much else. Uh, the game is winding down, thankfully. Maybe not so thankfully. I mean, you guys seem to like when I snipe, even though I'm not that great at it. If you guys have any constructive tips for how to snipe better, let me know. If you guys have any recommended setups or uh, classes and weapons, let me know. And uh, I'll have to check them out. 
as you can see, I did pretty good. I mean, better than I would have thought I, I would have done. So uh, I'll take it. You know, I'll be happy with it. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Uh, take care, have fun, leave comments, and please click a thumbs up. Please, if you're still here, click a thumbs up and help me out. I would really, really appreciate it. Take care, guys.